I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls because we're going to practice decision making with a dealt hand, building around multiples or the predominant pattern. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls and we'll alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, then 28. We have a joker, a flower, white and red dragon, and a south. In cracks, we have two, three, five, seven, a pung of twos. In bams, we have one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, pair one, pair five. In dots, we have three, five, six, seven, nine, pairs of fives, sixes, and nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play the odd pair hand and then probably three, six, nine, or maybe a quint. That's a challenge though, because that's three hands. You want to try to make a plan for two. Let's just see how this looks. So we have one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand. That looks pretty good. We just need to build here here, here, here. Not too bad. Ooh. Three, six, nine. Or maybe a quint up here. The other thing I was thinking is we maybe could play like numbers with twos, but I would say that probably three, six, nine might even be better than a quint because of these pairs there. So either a quint or three, six, nine. I wish there was a way to use this pung of twos. We could do two, three, two, three, dragon, but it's very weak we would only have one multiple. That's why I'm thinking a quint here, but we would need to build up big time right there. That's pretty weak, and that's why I say have another plan. Either three, six, nine, if that comes in, break this up early. If this comes in, then maybe use these as joker bait and let the, these go here. E yeah, either way we can let those go and just gather. There is a two, four, six, eight hand where the two, eight are into two different suits. So maybe let this one go last. Let the sevens go first. This one was a challenge. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull one in the comment section below.
we have a couple of jokers, north, east, west, south, pair north. In cracks, we have one, four, seven, nine, pair of nines. In bams, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, pair of sixes. In dots, we have one, two, four, five, six, eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would build around the winds and maybe odds. Mix suit on hand. I think this is how I would do it. We do have a lot of two, four, six, eight. Maybe let the ones go first because we do have a lot of two, four, six, eight in there, but we'd have to let all these go here. What I was thinking is maybe we could do north and south with a short run, or we could do news with like numbers. So I would keep the two, four, six, eight for a plan B. If two, four, six, eight comes in, I'd let these go. And then down here, we could do one, three, five, seven, nine. There's no gaps, but it's weak, which is why I would keep these because we could maybe switch to big odds. So I would just gather odds here, big odds probably, which is why I would start by discarding the ones. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull two and what you would do. We have a joker, pair of flowers, north and south, pair of north. We have a pair of white dragons and a green dragon. In cracks, we have two, four, seven, eight, nine, pair of eights. In dots, we have two, three, four, seven, eight, pair of fours. In bams, we have three, five, six, seven, eight, pairs of fives and sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play 7878 seven, eight, Dragon and then consecutive run 3456, maybe a Quint as a backup. We have three hands again, which you really don't want to do. It's a bit risky. You really want to try to have two good, good plans or plans for two strong hands. Here we have three, four, five, six. We have two multiples in there for consecutive run, but it's pretty weak. The three and the six are very weak. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could try for a quint here with either four or five. But again, we're weak with the dragon. So I think consecutive run would probably be better. And then down here, seven, eight, seven, eight, dragon. That's pretty strong, especially because we have one of the pairs already in, in the hand. So we have eight, six discards if we go with this plan, but we have a plan A and a plan B up here. And of course, we wouldn't be able to keep both of these. Probably this would need to go away because this is really for the potential quint. We would need another joker minimum. So I think this is how I would do it. 
8 8 dragon. Maybe keep the 7 8. Because we could maybe do like numbers with 8s or like numbers with 7s. Either way, we'd have to let go of a multiple, which is why I think this would even be better. 7 8 7 8 dragon. Or we could do like numbers with 8s if we can get the other dragon or like numbers with 7s. So then maybe start by discarding those. The other thing I was thinking is if we could get a six crack or a three crack, we could do consecutive run with mixed suits and flowers. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do. Siamese Mahjong can be a little overwhelming if you're new to having all those tiles. Just arrange them by suit in numerical order, put all your winds and dragons together, then build around multiples or the predominant pattern. If you come up with a plan where you have eight discards or less, I'd say that you have optimized your hand and probably have a good chance to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.